Hello friends, today I am going to start a new playlist where you will be finding different videos related to IoT. Well, at the very outset, let me tell you how my playlist will differ with other playlists that is available in YouTube. I am not just going to work on IoT alone. My video will combine both Arduino as well as Raspberry Pi. Since I started my career in the web domain, so I will be making use of jQuery, PHP and MySQL for implementing IoT projects. And then I started my career into the field of Android. So I will also bring Android in the sector of IoT. And lastly, what to talk about machine learning. It's just a boom in the market. So I will be creating different videos combining all these languages. And along with that, I will be using different IoT platforms. Like for today, I will be using ThinkSpeak, a very wonderful IoT platform where I will be saving my data. So the videos which you will be seeing in the coming days in this particular playlist, it is not just as a fundamental video. I will be considering that my viewers has got some overview about the IoT platform. Why? The reason is, since I come from a professional domain, so the project which you will be doing for your client as you get yourself recruited in different companies after your completion of your BTEC or Masters, keeping that in view, these videos I will be making. So over here, I will not talk about only Arduino or I will not talk about a single sensor. It will be a combination of multiple homogeneous or multiple heterogeneous sensor and they will be also uploaded in the cloud. So none of my videos are going to be just an independent sensor I'm working, it is not like that, okay? And today's video is also of that type. In today's video, what I have done, let me show you over here. This is my first LM35 and this is my second LM35. So over here, I have got two LM35 and those two LM35 are connected with my Arduino. Now Arduino don't have a Wi-Fi module, so I will be using Node MCU. So by the end of this particular video, you will see that how Arduino is connecting this particular LM35, in fact to LM35, it is storing the data and then it is transmitting it to Node MCU. So over here, a kind of communication protocol will be implemented and we will be talking about different communication protocols. So this particular video, it's not meant for a beginner where the person will be learning about Arduino or how Arduino interact with the sensor. It is meant for the professional who would be in the final year of their BTEC and they can make different kind of project. And the main agenda making this particular playlist is that I am going to combine different technology as per my knowledge is concerned. So you can understand that for beginners, there are different playlists available. You can search, go through them and then you can come to my playlist and you will be getting wide range of ideas for the projects. I'm targeting primarily uh, the BTEC students in the domain of EC, CS, IT or even for the masters. So over here, you will be getting different project ideas, theme, guidelines. But one thing I must ask apology at the very beginning of my video is that in my video presentation, I will not be able to show you the code which I will be implementing in this microcontrollers because I have some other plan as well. So if anybody require any kind of assistance, you can directly text me at my WhatsApp number that is flashing on the screen or you can mail me. Surely I will be helping them individually. Okay, so that's the apology which I am asking at the very beginning. Okay, so let's get started. So what I have done in my display over here, there are two LM35 that is connected with my Arduino. So I'm going to upload this particular catch to the Arduino. 
So oh, before uploading the sketch, you need to be very careful that since I'm implementing communication protocol over here, so I have to choose a respective board and this particular board is going to be Arduino Uno. So this is the Arduino Uno. And we have to be very careful about the port which you are selecting. This is a COM10 port. I selected COM10 port. Now I will upload the sketch and just see over here the sketch is getting uploaded. And after the sketch gets uploaded, I can see the output of the LM35 in my serial monitor. Just wait for a while. Yeah, the sketch is getting uploaded. I think you can see the LED is flashing and it is done. And now I can click the serial monitor. Once I click the serial monitor, it will be showing me the output of two LM35. So this is the output of the first LM35, which is a temperature. And this is the output of second LM35. That's another temperature. So there are two LM35 associated. So I can see the output of two LM35. In both of the output, there is a difference of 18 seconds because I will be uploading the code in ThinkSpeak. And while I upload this code on ThinkSpeak, think we require an interval of 15 seconds. I have given extra three second delay. So these output which you are seeing is actually coming from my Arduino. But my percept is not to see the data in Arduino, but my target is to transfer the data to my node MCU. So this particular Arduino is connected with a node MCU with a communication protocol. So the data which you just now saw in the serial monitor, this particular data will be transferred to the node MCU. And before I do that, what I will be doing is I will be opening my browser as well. I will go. Okay, let me clear the channel. I have made one channel over here. Let me clear this channel data because I will be uploading a fresh data. So I'm clearing the data from the channel and there is no such data available. Now let's go to the API key and I will be copying this particular API key and I come to the public view and here still the data is coming because this particular uh, sketch of the node MCU is already uploaded. So that's the reason the data is getting displayed over here. So what I will do is that now I will upload the sketch for my node MCU. And then again, I will be cleaning this particular channel data. Okay. So now I have to change the board because I'm going to upload the sketch in my node MCU. So here you are seeing very few videos are there where you will find this kind of communication protocol been implemented. And now I have to choose the port. This is a port for the node MCU. And now I'm uploading the sketch in my node MCU. As I was saying that primarily you will find different videos where you will be find independently sensors has been connected with Arduino. But I have seen very few number of playlists or handful number of playlists available where the multiple communication and that too also with multiple sensors associated. So all the videos which I will be uploading, you will find multiple sensors associated because since I come from a professional domain, you will get an experience that in professional world, you are not going to work with only one center and one sensors rather it will be involving multiple heterogeneous sensors. So here the uploading is going on and in between I will just clean the sketch uh, from the, the, the channel data. I come to the settings. I will clean this whole thing off. And as I do that, there will be no data available. Yes, all the data got clean. And I come over here. See, there is no data available because the, still the upload is going on. Once the upload gets over, then I will switch on my serial monitor. It will first try to, yeah, it is first try to connect my Wi-Fi module of my home environment. And here is my Wi-Fi module connected. And along with that, this is the data which was been provided by the Arduino from the LM35 to LM35 that has been sent to Node successfully. And hopefully it is already uploaded. Wow. Let me sh show you. See, the first data was 23.44, 23.44, 25.88, 25.88. Then another data is already uploaded, which is to be portrayed in my the channel. We'll wait for that. And even though both the data are same, so there will be, yeah, that's the, the, this data is same. So over here 23.44, 25.88, 25 25.88. But the next data there is a different, there is a slight deviation. So obviously this graph will slightly bend down. Yeah, and it got bent down successfully. So you can see, you can see that how, how multiple sensors are connected with this Arduino kit and how Arduino is successfully sending the data. 
is successfully sending the data to my node MCU and the node MCU is then populating that data into the IoT platform. See over here the derivation has taken place. This is what the most important part of the project that your IoT project should not be just restricted with one sensor. Your IoT project should be implemented with heterogeneous sensor number one and number two goes is it should have a connectivity with the IoT in the form of Arduino and Node MCU. Why? Because LM35 works on the analog pin. Now Node MCU has got only one analog pin in the form of A0. So how will you collect, connect multiple LM35 with Node MCU alone? You cannot do that. And for that reason, you need the help of Arduino. Now the problem is if you are working on Arduino, Arduino don't have a Wi-Fi module. So naturally, you have to pass the data to the Node MCU and that's what I am doing in this particular video presentation. Okay. So in this particular video, you saw that how a communication protocol can be implemented and like what we do in a computer network, we have got multiple computer connected. So assume this is one microcontroller, this is another microcontroller, they are communicating among each others with the help of the communication protocol and that's what actually helping me to transfer data. See, periodically I am getting the grid plotted over here in a very smooth fashion. So that was all about this particular video. And in my next video, again, I will be showing you heterogeneous sensors connected with Arduino and Node MCU and the data will be plotted over there. Okay, so just keep watching my video. Have a nice time. Thank you so much.